When you first open Nomad, the interface looks like this. It's already very intuitive and user-friendly, but this new feature called Shortcut Windows has made it even more customizable. So let's take a look at how we can create a custom interface so that all the tools we need will be right here and it will help us work faster. So make sure you're using the latest version, which is version 2.4 at the time of recording this video. First thing I'm gonna do is hide this right toolbar. To do that, go to interface and then check this hidden box. Next, go to shortcuts and add a shortcut window by clicking on plus. It has already made a new shortcut right here. Although it's not visible yet. Go to bindings and then go to toolbox. And here I'm picking my most used sculpting brushes. Move, clay, crease, flatten and inflate. And click on visible. The new shortcut window has been created. Right now it's horizontal. To make it vertical, make sure this is enabled and then drag the corner like this. Now move and dock it to the right side like this. Now let's say I wanna add a few custom brushes to this. Go to bindings, then presets. And from here you can add your custom brushes to shortcut windows. If you can't see them, just drag the corner and extend the window. The same way I'm adding another shortcut window. Go to bindings, then toolbox, and add mask tools, trim, split, and project. Basically tools that I use to edit geometries. Then make it visible and vertical and dock the window to the right below the first one. You can also disable these drop down icons to keep it clean. Then create another shortcut window and go to add and add your most used primitive forms like this. I'm keeping this window horizontal and docking it down here at the bottom. Then I'm gonna disable these. Another window for lighting and rendering. Then put it next to the primitive windows. Create another window for important brush setting tools. You can also search the tools you wanna add like this. I'm adding front facing vertex only. Connected topology. And silhouette. You can check out this video to know how to use these brush settings. Last shortcut window I'm gonna add is for other important tools. Like voxel remesh, dyne topo, multi -race, select, delete, and the ones I use all the time. Then I'm gonna dock it over here. If some tools are already on this left bottom toolbar and you wanna remove them, you can delete or add them from here. Now let's say you wanna 
change the tool order inside the shortcut windows. It's very easy. Just go to the shortcut and enable this order. Then you can rearrange the tools just by dragging like this. Then just disable it once you are done. If all the windows are too close and the interface feels cramped, you can simply go to the interface and then down here, play around with this overall scale value and adjust the overall scale. Now everything I need is right here and I can select them with one click. This makes my workflow much faster. If you want to mirror the whole interface, go to interface and check mirror top bar and then mirror sidebars. You can then move the toolbars to the right and the interface is flipped. I'm gonna uncheck those and go back the way it was since I'm used to it. So I hope you found it useful. Subscribe for more tutorials like this and I will see you in the next video.